Hey guys, Silence here, here. Welcome to a very anticipated unboxing video. As you can tell, it is now the 31st of January 2019. Um, initially, the game is released on the 29th of January 2019. But because of shipping issues, the game came to me late. Why did I say shipping? Because, well, I got the Deluxe Edition Kingdom Hearts 3 for the PlayStation 4 but this one came from the US so if you guys don't know the US edition of this game if you purchase it off Amazon.us or rather Amazon.com um, it comes with a special code that uh, is inclusive of a special keyblade um, for the game so only the US edition of the game comes with that particular code so um, I kind of actually cancelled my um, local order because well the um, the retailer kind of um, didn't update me that there was a deluxe edition that I could change to um, and eventually they ran out of stock for the deluxe edition so that's why I went ahead to order the um, the one off Amazon instead so yeah so guys we're gonna unbox this I'm going to show you guys what's inside here as you can see I also have the metallic poster um, The poster is freaking shiny <laughs> So um, I have to thank my friend uh, Jet for this uh, Apparently he bought it from a local retailer um, He bought his game from a local retailer and the, the boss of the retailer kind of gave him a few copies of this metallic poster uh, Which then he gave me a copy as well seeing how uh, big of a Kingdom Hearts fan I was so thank you Jet. Um, Alright, so let's open this up. As you can see, it's still nicely wrapped. There's even like uh, tape, I think, that the box is covered with. I think, no, it's not tape. It's it's one of those like extra layers over the, the box. You know, like, so you can open it up easily without using a pen knife, I suppose, or a knife. Okay, so just looking at the, the box itself, the, the logo is shiny. Just like the metallic poster. Um, yeah, it comes with a pin as well. So, yep. Let's open this up. And got all the goodies here. So, there is a steel book inside. So, first off, we pull out the normal edition game. Alright, so no special covers um, in the deluxe edition. Very strange. You know, considering they should have done like maybe a special maybe if it was the the ps4 limited edition i guess maybe they could have included a special cover you know so that it makes it more worthwhile all right so let's pull out the rest of the stuff the steelbook case it has all the usual logos that you see in kingdom hearts the soras uh, necklace then of course the heartless symbol then you know the the nobodies and all that sorry I think I got the symbols wrong, so this should be the heartless one, and these are the nobodies, and this one is the standard Kingdom Hearts, and of course Sora's symbol. Hmm. All right, so steelbook case. I don't know whether there's anything inside. There isn't anything inside except the designs. Um, these designs are exactly the same that you can see on the PS4 Pro, uh, the Kingdom Hearts 3 Limited Edition. And of course, there is the logo as well. So yeah, pretty nice. Um, very simple design. Uh, it is uh, similar to the patterns that the uh, luggage was designed in. I guess the one that uh, Riku and Mickey got at the end of Kingdom Hearts uh, 0.2, both by sleep. Uh, if you guys watched my video that I recently did, yeah. All right, then there is this mini illustration book as well. It looks like a children's book. <laughs> the, I mean, the the artwork design uh, does remind me of a children's book. Uh, the size as well, very nice Sora, fantastic. So yeah, we can take a look at some of the contents inside. It's in both English and Japanese. So this is a very important message. I think most of the uh, Kingdom Heart websites have probably updated this because these are the words from uh, Tetsuya uh, Nomura. Uh, pretty interesting stuff. Uh, I haven't read it myself. So I think this is like the, yeah, the timeline for Kingdom Hearts up to Kingdom Hearts 3. And of course, character designs, so on and so forth. Then I think there's some cutscenes here and there as well. Yeah. So, this book, uh, I think the most important parts are actually the keyblade key designs. And maybe the heartless and some of the other stuff. 
yeah pretty interesting stuff so yeah i think the cosplayers will definitely love this book uh, especially for the designs of the uh, key blades uh, sora donald's weapons as well uh, some of the character designs i think character designs you can probably find online uh, especially if you need high resolution ones um, but definitely this book is more towards the um, concept art of the heartless the keyblades and of course the weapons for Sora and Donald so pretty fantastic stuff all right so let's move on uh, take a look at the keychain so oh is it a pin it's a pin okay um, not that I need more pins in fact I never really use all my Kingdom Heart pins because um, I'm just afraid that it might get damaged and all that kind of stuff so um, here we go have a closer look at the pin looking at Sora's very smug face <laughs> so I think I don't know whether the Asian version of the deluxe edition actually comes with this um, maybe it came with the poster instead who knows so yeah I haven't really taken a look at the the Asian version of the deluxe edition so usually the American versions of the games always come with a pin so that's why this time around I got the pin yeah if not, if I were to be a collector, I probably have to like um, import all the American editions just to get the pins. But of course, usually the Japanese editions have nicer stuff rather than pins. Like they had the acrylic stands of the characters and all that kind of stuff. So guys, that's pretty much it within the deluxe edition of Kingdom Hearts 3. I'm definitely looking forward to playing it. Um, hmm, maybe I should open this up. Yeah, let's take a look at inside the box. Because something is shaking inside. I'm, don't, I'm not too sure what is it. So let's. So okay, apparently the wrapper on this doesn't have an uh, easy opening. So I guess I just have to slit this. Uh, there you go. Okay. I I I think I would probably not use the steel book. I'm just gonna leave the the game as it is, like this. Uh, I definitely love the artwork on the cover. Um the. I'm pretty worried that the steelbook might get scratched and all that kind of stuff so that's why I don't think I will use it alright so opening up okay so apparently the CD was out of its socket and I was shaking it around oh that's just horrendous ah, very scary so alright so as you can see straight away we have the um, illustration artwork from the book on the CD itself um, I guess this would definitely be the new menu screen as well um, then lots of pamphlets um, promoting uh, all the goodies for um, upcoming Square Soft. Oh, sorry, not Square Soft. They are no longer Square Soft. Square Enix games. Uh, yes, the very first Kingdom Hearts game was created by Square Soft. So, fun fact. <laughs> so, World of Final Fantasy Maxima. Um, I know I haven't finished World of Final Fantasy because I was playing it back on the uh, PlayStation Vita. Um, now that I have the PlayStation 4 and the Nintendo Switch to record on, I guess I could re-travel re back to this game. Uh, I'm not sure whether I'll get this version of the game though. So I do have like the older version of uh, World of Final Fantasy with Sora on it. So that's not too bad. I think I can consider going back to the game eventually. Um, once I've gotten Kingdom Hearts 3 done, I guess. So. Um, if you guys don't play uh, Kingdom Hearts Union Cross or in the past it was called Kingdom Hearts Key um, Yeah, you can get the uh, What was this Keyblade called again? I kind of forgot <laughs> Yeah, Star Starlight Keyblade um, Yeah, you can actually unlock the Starlight Keyblade if you play uh, Kingdom Hearts Union Cross uh, You can just download the game just to play all the mini games uh, on it and just get the code for it and then of course um, you know get the keyblade just for your Kingdom Hearts 3 save data so anyway guys that's pretty much it for Kingdom Hearts 3 Deluxe Edition unboxing hopefully you guys got yourself a copy it will be the regular edition the Deluxe Edition or even the PS4 Pro um, exclusive uh, definitely well, make yourself happy about it um, because this game is finally here after 13 years. Finally, finally, Kingdom Hearts 3, the conclusion of Sora's arc. Um, this will be the last time you will see Sora 
And of course, once Kingdom Hearts 4 is planned, we will definitely get a new set of uh, main characters. It's kind of sad that we will not um, see any more of these um, wonderful um, exclusive Kingdom Hearts characters. Maybe they will come back as cameos. Um, I, I kind of expect that maybe Sora, Donald and Goofy... No, no, not Sora. Sorry. I'm so used to saying all three of their names together now. Oh my goodness. Because no matter what game in Kingdom Hearts, they will always say it as Sora, Donald and Goofy. Oh god, that's going to be one thing that is going to be hard to forget. <laughs> so anyway guys, I expect to see Donald and Goofy and King Mickey, or rather all the Disney characters returning in all the other Kingdom Hearts uh, upcoming games. Um, maybe the... Um, Kingdom Heart exclusive characters like Sora, Riku, Kairi, uh, Namine, Aqua, Terra, Ventus, uh, Lee, you know, and of course all the other Xion and um, Roxas uh, coming back into um, future Kingdom Heart games in cameo form, I guess. Maybe Sora might be the next um, Keyblade Master to teach the new characters on how to control their powers that kind of stuff so looking forward to the future of kingdom hearts as usual definitely definitely hopefully i will live up to the age to see it happen <laughs> so anyway guys thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you guys like what you see and here do let me know by hitting the like button down below and of course if you don't like what you see you know which button to hit subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed just yet and i'll see you guys in the let's play of kingdom hearts 3 until then Bye!